Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to today's Society of Decision Professionals Learning Exchange. My name is Hilda Chorekchen, and I have the pleasure of introducing today's presentation titled ADA on the Use of Anticoagulants for Children with Traumatic Brain Injuries, TBI, or I Really Hate Bleeding. First, I appreciate the chance to uh, be here. Uh, also, a uh, hi to uh, a lot of friends I see in the audience. Um, so, the title of today's talk is, I'm going to try to say this uh, in, in one sentence, Pharmacological thrombo, uh, prophylaxis. prophylaxis uh, did not achieve my goal, for pediatric neurosurgical critical care patients. Uh, my colleague and I have tried hard to find the most boring, dullest title we could find, and I think we're pretty proud that we have uh, achieved that. But nevertheless, I think you will see that uh, it's, it's perhaps not quite as dull as the uh, uh, title suggests. One uh, quick warning, there will be some slides in here that uh, you might call, uh, make people a bit squeamish. Uh, in one sense, we apologize for that, but we think it's, it's necessary in order to sort of understand the reality of what we are uh, talking about. Well, our agenda is we're first going to discuss the problem, which is uh, basically that uh, kids in the intensive care unit are at risk for developing uh, blood clots, our venous thromboembolisms, um, and that there are no guidelines for treatment. We'll elaborate on that, of course. And then we're going to spend uh, probably the second about a half talking about how to change practice amongst physicians and the role of decision analysis in doing that.